Hello, my name is Wayne Nero and I am the Chief of Police for the City of Georgetown. Early voting has already begun for a May 14th bond election. If you're a city resident, your ballot will contain Proposition 1, which will provide funding for a public safety operations and training facility. If approved by the voters, the new facility on D.B. Wood Road would replace the current police department and fire administration buildings. The main police department building is at 809 Martin Luther King Jr. Street. It was built 100 years ago as the Georgetown Light and Water Works building and has served as the city's power plant until 1946. It was renovated in 1986 to become the police station. There was a second renovation in 1998 to finish out the office space in the rear of the building. In the past, this annex building served as municipal court and as the emergency operations center, but now serves as office space for the police department. Here inside the main police building, eight patrol sergeants share this 11 by 13 foot office. At the end of each shift, patrol sergeants use these workstations to write reports and complete other paperwork. Eight sergeants share these two computers and each sergeant has one file drawer. This is the evidence room used for storing a variety of items related to criminal cases. The room is 20 feet by 15 feet. In some cases, evidence must be kept for up to 20 or 30 years. Due to the size of this room, some evidence is stored in other city buildings. This is the police briefing room. In June, four cubicles will be added in this room that will serve as offices for patrol lieutenants. This is an interview room that is used by detectives. In some cases, when a juvenile is in the room, state law requires that the door remain open. Cubicles for the detectives are across from the interview rooms. This is the men's locker room at the police station. There are no showers in the locker room and there's no fitness or training equipment. Since patrol officers typically don't have offices or desks, they use these lockers to store uniforms, personal items, and other materials such as pamphlets or forms. If you'd like more information about the police department's current facilities or the new proposed public safety operations and training center, you can go to the city's website at georgetown.org.